22 Ohio Street. I got my tool trailer out here. I'll show you the neighborhood. This is still a nice neighborhood. There's my grandma and grandpa's house. We've got some nice apartments across the road. Nice houses around it. Mostly. Um, it is thir Wednesday. I don't know what day it is. I bought this house on Friday, so we have started working on this one. The, the shrubs were overgrown. They've already been trimmed down. The grass has been cut. It was it was overgrown. It has not been cut in the back. Got a nice tree. This house is not nearly as bad as what I usually buy. This is a, a rather good one for me. I'm not loving that they painted the hardwood floors, but they did what they could. Here's our building permit because City of South Charleston will get you if you do not have your building permit. <laughs> a lot of junk in the room as you can see. <laughs> a lot of building material. I really should have done this video as soon as I bought it. A nice fireplace. It needs a nice fireplace. This is the formal dining room. Kitchen. You can hear the guys upstairs in the This will be taken off. <laughs> storage area under the steps. This entire kitchen did have this beautiful wallpaper all over it, but I've already had the guys remove the rest of the wallpaper and, and prime it. Um, this was a wonderful checkered color on the bottom half of the same colors that were in that wallpaper, but the entire top half was um, that same wallpaper. <laughs> in pretty good shape and the carpet needs clean and probably a ceiling fan will go there. The doors are still nice. That's what was blocking my way from opening the door. <laughs> I've already put up smoke detectors. That's one of my first things. I always get in here and get the smoke detectors. In there. And the previous owner did put in new vanities, or a new vanity, I should say. And overall, this bathroom is in pretty good condition. There's the front bedroom in the front of the house. age of a house. Kind of small. Alright, let's go upstairs. This was one open room upstairs. Um, we're dividing it into two bedrooms. Make it a, a four bedroom house. Alright guys, watch what you say. I'm coming up. <laughs> Alright, here's a little storage area. Focus. You'll be able to see back here, it's too dark, okay. All right, what you can see in building here is the back bedroom. There will be another wall put in here for a front bedroom. And they're running from the camera. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> if you're not working, I'll see it, you know that, right? You know I have these hidden around, right? <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, hidden cameras. 
If you're not working, I'm gonna know about it. Oh shoot. <laughs> I never know, know work. <laughs> you're caught, is that what you're saying? Uh, you're caught? Yeah. Alright, and that was 5422 Ohio. Alright, I forgot to walk around the house on the outside the first time I videoed, so we're gonna go around now. Alright, the first time I went through, I forgot to go around the outside of the house. So now we're gonna do that. Like I said, we had the overgrown shrubs. Those have already been trimmed. Grass was very high. Um, the guys did not mow this yet. Um, they mowed the front yard. They all to mow the backyard. The gutters were dripping everywhere and it had not rained the day I bought it. And the guys got up there and looked. They were completely full. So they've had to already clean the gutters out. This faucet is dripping constantly. The plumbers have already been here once already, so... They've got to come back anyway to replace the hot water tanks, so we'll get them on that. There's a pretty window. Of course, that window will be replaced. It's rather rough. There's our outside breaker box, only 100 amp service on this house, but we have gas, heat, uh, gas stove, and right now it's a gas hot water tank, but we're getting ready to switch that. Oh, we didn't go in the laundry room either. You have to come out the back door and into the laundry room, which would be wonderful to change, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> They're draining this tank to replace it. It's bad. Nasty little room. Of course, we're replacing that window. There's some uh, decon. <laughs> Something's been coming through that hole. And I'll tell you what, my grandpa used duct tape but for about everything, but I've never seen him use it on a window, so that's a new one for me to see. that window from the other side. <laughs> Alright, that's a problem. Got a gutter just stopping right at the footer. Another one dropping straight down. It already has central heat and air, but we don't know how well it's working. There's only one vent upstairs, so... There's probably going to be some repairs and updating done. 